tech startup Airtable just raised $735 million at a valuation of $11 billion, elbowing its way through the crowded productivity space. Or wait, should the headline be aiming to replace Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets as everyone's go-to spreadsheet? The funny thing is that while Airtable is competitive in both of these different spaces, at its core, it's actually a lot more similar to this group of apps, which you may not have heard of before. Databases are the behind the scenes engine that makes pretty much every app in the world work. Databases are excellent for storing and viewing information, but they've been typically used by software engineers, not just the average person. Airtable is a database built for all of us. Here I will break down the five most compelling features that will make you want to pick it up and try it for yourself. Number one is design. When you open Airtable, you immediately have the sense that someone thought very hard about how to make the app enjoyable to use. Color is an extremely underrated organizational tool, and Airtable understands that. Fields. Airtable has a ton of useful field types, including single select, checkboxes, and attachments. Yes, you can drag and drop an attachment into a cell. Views. The database advantage shines through when you need to view your data in different ways. Views are pre-saved filters on top of your data that allow you to say, group expenses by category in one view and by month in another view. Non-grid views. In the same way that you can create filtered spreadsheet views, you can also create a timeline, a gallery view, or a calendar. This is super helpful for project management and content calendars. Last but not least is automations. Airtable has integrations with Gmail, Outlook, Slack, and Google Calendar that allow you to send an email or update a calendar event based on triggering events inside the app. It's really cool, it saves a ton of time, and they are constantly expanding the number of integrated apps and triggers. That is my super quick run through of the features. Look for my other videos which go into more detail about how to use each of these tools. If you have a specific feature that you're interested in learning, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.